Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you would stake your Theta when it's located on your Ledger Nano S. I'm going to start by showing you how to access the Ledger Nano S using the standard Theta wallet located at wallet.thetatoken.org. Okay, this uh, video is going to be about how to use the uh, Theta wallet to access the Ledger hardware wallet. And so basically the way you do that is you go to the website as shown above up here wallet.thetatoken.org in order to access your hardware wallet you have to go over here and click on hardware and that will change and you've got two types of hardware wallets that this is supposed to work with so you would select ledger and then uh, make note of this uh, red lettering here that tells you to plug in your ledger and to bring up the Ethereum app before you click continue down here. So that's what we'll do. Okay, I'm going to sign into the ledger at this point. So it's going to take a second. Okay, I'm signed into the ledger and clicking continue now. and now you see the first set of addresses that are associated with the ledger and I have clicked on the top one and as you can see it looks just like when you're in the regular Theta wallet it shows you the Theta that you have and the T fuel that you have and it uh, will show any transactions that have occurred in your hardware wallet and if you look up there at the top, you see the menu across the top. You got wallet, send, receive, stakes. And stakes is the one that you want to click on. And now that you're on the stakes tab, it'll look like this. And next, I'm going to show you how to go to gpool and uh, get what you need there. So uh, open a second tab uh, in your browser and go to gpool. What you need to do is create an account on gpool if you haven't already got one. Once you've logged in, if your screen doesn't look like this, where it says select pool and then shows theta, you need to go up here to the upper left hand corner to those little horizontal lines and you need to click on it and then you need to click home. Okay, that's what gets you to this screen. Now you simply select theta. And it'll bring you to the leaderboard, which you don't really care about. And then you go back up here and you click on the little horizontal lines again. And you go down here to Join Guardian. And then you click that away. And this is the Guardian Node Holder Summary. This is what you need in order to stake to the gpool so you'll go down here and you will click copy and it'll give you a confirmation that you copied it it's put it on your clipboard and then you click OK so you want to have your wallet open and you want to stake so uh, you got these tabs across the top here and you want to click on stakes and that'll put you in here and then you would click on deposit stakes and that's going to pop this up and then you're going to select the type of node that you're going to stake to and in our case it's going to be the guardian node so you click guardian node then click continue and then you get to this screen and this first one here is where you would paste in the guardian node summary that you copied from gpool io next you want to put in the amount that you're going to stake must be at least a thousand and you put that here and then it tells you here what your transaction fee is which is next to nothing but you do need to have that or you aren't going to be able to do this and then you would click on deposit stake and uh, 
it'll appear uh, it'll appear out here as staked and uh, in the event that you want to withdraw it at some point you just go over here and click withdraw stake and uh, that initiates the withdrawal process which takes two and a half three days for it to happen it will continue to show up under staked for the uh, full cycle and then once it actually has completed the cycle it will appear over under the wallet once you do that, the amount that you had staked will disappear from the stakes tab and it will reappear over here under wallet. So that's basically it. Oh, and something that you need to know to get a little bit of uh, T fuel uh, enough to get you started in case you haven't got any, you click on receive and then uh, this pops up and faucet what this does is it will give you a small amount of t fuel on the main net to get you started so let's try that okay see there you have it it deposited 0 0.0001 t fuel into your wallet and you can do this i think just one time with any new wallet so that's how you get yourself started well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Helps out. We'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.